We're back in, we're at it. Okay, so we're looking at another practice problem for unit two. This is number 3.3 .3 for average velocities. Um, what we've got is a slug has started to move straight across a busy street in Little Town that's eight meters wide. Um, eight meters is about 24 feet. And the slug is moving at a very, very nice pace, a constant speed of 3.3 .3 millimeters per second. And that's 3.3 .3 millimeters per second. The concerned drivers on the street are halting until the slug reaches the opposite side. How many seconds elapse until the traffic can start moving again? So basically, you got a road, it's eight meters, and this slug is moving super, super slow at just 3.3 .3 millimeters per second. Well, let's do this first. Let's convert 3.3 .3 millimeters per second into meters per second. To do that, let's just say, uh, look, in one meter, how many millimeters are there? And there are 1,000 millimeters, which with three zeros in our denominator now, this is going to go one, and then two more, two, three. So our velocity that this slug is traveling is 0 0.0033 meters per second. And if we're just looking for a time that it takes to cross the street here, you know, how long does it take to get to the other side. Well, from our velocity equation, v equals delta x divided by t, we could rearrange this, moving the t and v, swapping their places, doing a little bit of algebra. We find that time is equal to delta x divided by the velocity. So in our case here, we know delta x, that's gonna be our eight meters in this problem. And we know the super slow pace of the slug, 0 0.0033 meters per second, we're gonna see that our meters are gonna go away, our seconds is gonna come back up just like we want it to. And now eight divided by 0 0.0033 is gonna give us you know, the short time of 2,424 seconds. Super awesome. Which is like uh, two thirds of an hour, just about. If we wanted to convert that into hours, we could. We could just divide it by 3,600. Yeah, and it's about 0.67 hours. So, you know, just about 40 minutes or so. You're good. Get the slug onto the other side of the street. So not too bad of a problem. Um, just recognizing what we have here in it. Um, some distances, some velocities, a quick little conversion, and then solving that out. And with that, this problem is finished. Take it easy.